In 2015, I got diagnosed with CKD stage 4 and of course, I was told that there is no coming back from kidney disease. But I didn't really like that diagnosis. The last thing I wanted to do was to end up in dialysis. Then, my daughter found you. It just blew me away that someone had done all this research in relation to nutrition and exercise and supplementation. I followed your advice and I'm no more risking dialysis now. Catherine here. Today's video is all about Harrison's story. He's one of my subscribers and his story is amazing because he actually reversed late stage kidney disease. He is not risking dialysis anymore. Harrison first contacted me here in comment section and as soon as I read his message, I knew I needed to talk to him. He told me about everything that made a difference for his kidneys, his new mindset, his diet, and the remedies he is taking. In particular, there is one remedy, an herbal tea, that he really loved and he found it here in the below kidney. More about it later on in today's video. And guys, this story is amazing because in 2021, Harrison was approaching stage 5 kidney disease, but now he is in stage 3B as per his last analysis. So let's see the message he wrote me here in the below kidney. Catherine, you're an angel. My daughter found your channel and watching your videos was like, wow, I come from a family that had cancer. It has been a really big thing in our lives and I lost my mother and father and my sister to cancer and it really frustrated me but everyone said we just had to sit there and watch them die, you know. In 2015, I got diagnosed and of course, I was told that there is no coming back from kidney disease and I didn't really like that diagnosis. My kidney function had deteriorated to stage 5, but I was really determined to fight because the last thing I wanted to do was to end up in dialysis. Then my daughter found you. This was the first time I ever thought of it and it just blew me away that someone had done all this research in relation to nutrition and exercise and supplementation. And it was so exciting and it was empowering to think that you could do something for yourself. I'm now pretty fit and quite healthy and my journey has been quite long but I'm no more risking dialysis now. So I wanted to ask, is there a way to contact you personally? Of course, you can contact me. Then we exchanged emails and I was able to learn more about him. He came across Double Okini early this year in 2022 and he's been on a real journey with kidney disease. He's a retired truck driver, 65 year old, and he has been suffering from kidney disease since 2015. Since he was diagnosed, however, his kidney function got worse and worse until in 2021 he was approaching stage 5, but today he is not risking dialysis anymore. In just 6 months, his EGFR went from 18 back to 38. His creatinine dropped from 3.8 to 1.9. Harrison, how did you find out you had kidney disease? Did you have any symptom? After what happened to my mother and my father and my sister, I've been always pretty worried about my own health and my heart. And since 2012, which is where I could find my information back to for all my labs, my EGFR and my creatinine have been flagged. And it wasn't until about six or seven years ago that I started asking my doctor, how come this is flagged? What's going on? And he will always just tell me, oh, don't worry about it. Then I looked it up online one day and I found I was like, holy cow, I'm in stage four of kidney disease. So I freaked out a little bit. Okay, that must have been quite scary. And I know why, well, I think I know why his doctor didn't tell him anything about his declining kidney function. You see, especially in people with high blood pressure, seeing a decreasing kidney function is common. 
it almost has to be expected after a certain age. And Harrison also told me that he has been taking quite a few different medications in the last 10 years, which also contribute to his decline in kidney function. Now guys, this is a very important lesson for us in my opinion. It happens way too frequently that people are told that their kidneys are not working anymore when it is too late when they have to start dialysis. But Harrison was able to avoid that and all because he decided to check his own blood tests by himself. He was able to start treatment earlier than many patients and this made a difference for him because he is now in stage 3b and i know that i've said this a million times in my videos but anyone with risk factors for kidney disease should do exactly what harrison did anyone with diabetes with high blood pressure and heart problems like harrison or who a history of kidney disease in his family should always test for kidney function regularly because the sooner you start taking care of your kidneys, the higher your chance of being able to improve are. And don't rely on your doctor alone to tell you if everything is okay because as we have seen, they will not always tell you. Okay guys, I believe you want to see what helped Harrison in practice what supplement he is taking and what kind of diet he is following. I mean, I was very curious too. So I asked him, what made the difference for your kidney health? Harrison, you mentioned that nutrition, exercise, and supplementation help you. Can you tell us a bit more about that? My daughter found your channel and she started taking notes for me. Watching your videos and reading her notes was like, wow, this was the first time I ever thought of it. And it just blew me away. All this research in relation to nutrition and exercise, you know, supplementation, and it was so exciting and it was so empowering to think that you could do something for yourself. And so I grabbed it with both hands and I held onto it. I tried to follow all your advice. I'm now pretty fit and quite healthy. I've introduced supplementation and exercise into my life and I'm eating alkaline. Okay, thank you very much. A very important question. What sort of changes have you found most effective? You talk a little bit about the acid alkaline kind of thing in your videos. Well, that was a light bulb moment for me. The acid and alkaline thing. And I thought, why aren't we taught this? And then of course, I've subsequently, two years ago, become a vegetarian or sort of, you know, I just stopped eating meat and all meat products and 99% of dairy products, apart from ice cream, you know. And it's made such a difference to the way I feel. Okay, this is amazing. Thank you for sharing. I'm particularly happy to read that he is feeling better with this diet because that's what's stopping most people from following an alkaline diet. I mean, many people don't want to give up meat and protein in general because they believe these foods make them feel better, but they are no good for your kidneys. And there is tons of research to prove that. And as Harrison says, once you stop eating meat and protein, you will feel better. But there is more about his journey that impressed me. Here's what he says about exercising. Then my family bought me a dog for my birthday in order to make me exercise. I mean, what more could I want? The other thing is the tea you made in your video, you know, the one with astragalus and those little berries. I started drinking it six months ago and never stopped. Okay guys, I bet you want to see which tea he is talking about. So this is what I consider one of the most powerful kidney repair tonics you can find. So this is what I consider one of the most powerful kidney repair tonics you can find. Very recent studies found out that combining these exact ingredients can give you incredible results in terms of diabetic wounds healing. It can also help improve the glucose and lipid metabolic disorders. And most importantly, this recipe can make the kidney function of patients in stage 4 of CKD go up by 12.4% in just 3 months. So I was not surprised when Harrison told me this tea helped him and he has been drinking this tea for the last 6 months, one cup every morning. But I recommend you consulting your doctor if you want to try this tea. Make sure that this tea is safe for you. And obviously all the ingredients have been tested on thousands of patients in many studies and they are safe. Let's see them. 
First ingredient is astragalus, one of the most powerful herbal remedies on earth, according to science. Studies say that it can lower blood pressure and improve heart function. It can lower blood sugar levels and treat diabetes. It can lower proteinuria, one of the most important markers of kidney damage. It restores kidney function in all the stages of kidney disease. And also, this herbal remedy can be made even more powerful when combined with certain other remedies that work in synergy with it. Yes, combining two or more natural remedies to get a healing effect that is not obtainable with just one remedy is exactly how herbal medicine works according to science. This is why in this recipe I also added Remania glutinosa. It was tested in combination with astragalus both in CKD and in diabetic patients. The herb targets the kidneys directly so it is considered very useful especially for improving the strength of the still working aspects of the kidney. And there is a study in particular in which this remedy was proven able to heal diabetic wounds but only when combined with astragalus. Next ingredient to make astragalus extremely powerful against swelling also use juniper berry. These berries you see here are a powerful stimulant for the kidneys and bladder. They will help flush out impurities and toxins and according to research, they will directly increase the rate of kidney filtration. Next ingredient, turmeric powder. Yeah, you guys probably already know about the incredible benefits of turmeric for kidney health. But did you know that studies show that combining curcumin from turmeric and astragalus could improve the glucose and lipid metabolic disorders? Turmeric is incredibly powerful against CKD because it blunts the effects of the inflammatory molecules and enzymes that lead to kidney disease according to studies. This is probably one of the most powerful anti-inflammatory remedies in the world. Add everything except the turmeric to the mortar and make these remedies into small pieces so they can be used to make the tea. Then these herbs need to soak in water for 2-4 to four hours before making the tea. Let's also add the turmeric and a pinch of pepper. This is needed for the turmeric to be bioavailable. This step can also be done the night before if you want to make the tea in the morning. Now they're ready to boil. When the water boils, reduce the heat and let simmer for 20 to 30 minutes. Strain. Allow the tea to cool and our kidney healing tea is ready. And guys, I really believe that Harrison Starr is incredibly inspiring and I thank him for sharing his journey with us. But he is not the only one who battled with CKD and won. So if you want to see more stories like this one, watch my video up here in this cell for today. Thank you for watching. God bless.